Hey guys, Ryoshi here, and I'm gonna get straight to the topic that Leave a Company has been nominated to be Steam Awards Game of the Year. I think that's weird and pretty impressive. Oh, an indie game that's only been out for like two months. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's pretty impressive if you put account to what the other nominations has already been through. The game itself, pretty fun. With friends, wonderful. Solo, it's kind of scary. Uh, game in general, a really good idea, and I feel like it was executed greatly, and I'm looking forward to the future of the game. But so far, people have been debating if the game truly deserves its Game of the Year status. Uh, and that's what I'm kind of confused on, because some the, people, the arguments that people bring on both sides are pretty weird. And I made this video just to put this out. Let's look over a few points from others. Really? There's a bunch of good games with cartoon and graphics without realism. And I'm honestly pretty annoyed by this because, I mean, we got Faith, we got Cuphead, a bunch of other games that I can't really think of because I know a lot. They're actually really good. Still kind of surprised that Lethal Company got nominated. Now, as much as I want Lethal Company to last, oh god, as much as I want Lethal Company to last a long time, I kind of see it ending up like Among Us. I don't know. There's just something about Lethal Company. I know a lot of people love this game. I love this game. Modding's pretty cool, but I don't know. Is I think we're too early into the game to truly find out. Hmm, I have pretty mixed reception about this because. I know that the gameplay itself is pretty repetitive. Yes, it's really repetitive. Just take stuff, bring back the ship, survive, and same thing with your friends, and pay the quota. I mean, yeah, I feel like I really wish there was more to that, but at the same time, the facility is pretty much the main part of the game. Like, that's where you're gonna go most of the time, and that's where most of the action happens. But yeah, I guess I can agree with this, and I feel like it could be approved on. I don't know, just because the game has no story doesn't mean that it should, like, not win. Because this game obviously has a bunch of features that obviously were not just mainly focused on the story, but they're mostly focused on those features of the game. Little Company is a great game to play with friends. I already voted, and I, I can wholeheartedly agree that I guarantee that 100% Lethal Company will win better with friends, no matter what. But Game of the Year, this is the part where it's debatable, because you got a bunch of the other games, like the EA game, you got Resident Evil 4, you got a bunch of the other contenders, that's really Baller's Gate, I know that's really popular, I haven't played that, but it sound looks cool. Lethal Company itself, compared to all this, it's, in my opinion, I think it's like outclassed in a lot of ways but that doesn't mean that it can't win because it has a lot of things that's going for it that these games don't have and i'm gonna be reading some of the points that some people have then i'll cover my opinions at around the end of the video now i'm pretty sure a lot of people probably already seen a bunch of people saying this but i see like a, a lot of lack of evidence from the other side saying that if it truly deserves it yes this game if you want to su truly support this one developer yeah i guess you can vote for it to be game of the year if it wants game of the year then i don't know if base review or something i'll be pretty surprised but this claim it's, it's weird I, I don't have anything to say on it Yeah, I can't really find anything else. Uh, maybe just comment down something and probably reply in the comments and just yap about it. But let's go over the summary. Alright guys, sit down, get grab a snack because I'm going to talk for a little bit because this game, truly wonderful. I feel like what this game is, what the indie game, early access, two months, it's been out only for fun game with friends, even by yourself. If you truly know what you're doing inside a game, you can still have a lot of fun. Mods, grades, everything. Now, there's a few bugs, but they're very rare, and and when you counter them, they either help you a lot or 
don't, obviously. And just a few faults for the game is that they're they're all caused by the player. Like if you die to your friend shooting with the shotgun that you grabbed that they grabbed off the nutcracker, yeah, then that's what that's their choice. What are you gonna do? What are they gonna do? Turn off friendly fire? No, no one wants that. Who just wants that? Like, come on, it's not cool. Like, just maybe just it's like free. It's freedom. You grab stuff, yeah, you can take it. You can throw it off, troll your friends, make them mad at you, and then they'll leave you, and they're not gonna call you on Discord anymore. Yeah, that's cool. That's what I love about this game. It ruins friendships like Monopoly. Yeah, I've seen like Vanos play. I've seen many other YouTubers play. They love this game. And I do too. I really want to see this game grow and see what it becomes into. And yeah, I don't know about the game of the year part because there's a few parts that I'm not convinced in. Like, I, I, I don't think we're at its best yet. I feel like compared to EA in terms of how polished it is, yes, obviously, in polish, the other games are going to win. And in terms of like mechanics, yes, I feel like those games are going to win. In terms of a bunch of things, yes, a bunch of those games are going to win. But that's okay, because, come on, this game made by one person, an ex-Roblox developer, that's pretty freaking impressive for what it's accomplished. Now, yeah, that this game is obviously still a work in progress, and it's doing this well, it's pretty surprising. Yeah, but this game still has its scary moments. This game still has its funny moments. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, if you're still watching this, then I thank you, because I'm kind of went in depth for this, and I kind of did a few research, kind of research, but I guess uh, the reason why this video is going to have to be cut off short is that it's been announced too early, and I'm going to make this video too early, so I guess I'm going to just be early this time and not get that much evidence, but from what I grabbed so far, people are just very inconclusive about this result on Game of the Year. And I feel like, give the stuff for more time, this game will be great, and I guarantee you this is going to be Game of the Year content in a few years from now. 100%. If the creator supports mod support, yes. Labor of love. Give Luffy Company that. Mm -hmm. It's a great game. I can't wait to see what this game has in store for its future audience. And I hope this game does not end up like Among Us. At last a few months, then quickly wander off or end up like Fall Guys or not. This game's going to be something. Uh, but truly, what Zekers has accomplished here is truly extraordinary for what one developer can do. And I feel like people should be pretty proud for what this person has done. Yeah. X Roblox developer has made this huge game that YouTubers play, a bunch of people play on their YouTube channel. Heck, you might see one video from me, but I gotta wrap it up here because I really just yapping from now on. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, wait. Also, comment down your opinions. I want to hear your opinions. I might comment to you guys. Bye.